Welcome to Pilates for Runners. This is a pre-run session, so getting you ready to run, but also working on a little bit of strength that's gonna help you with your running form. We're gonna go wide with the feet to start, wider than the hips and shoulders. Big breath in through the nose, we're gonna reach up. As you do, lengthen the crown of the head, lift towards the ceiling. Exhale, open the arms nice and wide. And again, big breath in. Reach and stretch, lengthen the spine. Keep that length as you open out the arms. So when we're running, we wanna feel like we're pulling up towards the sky with the crown of the head, so it keeps us light on our feet. We lose less energy through the ground. It's also gonna help us with our running form if we can stay nice and lifted through the chest, tall through the spine. Reach and open. Big breaths in through the nose and then out through the mouth. And again, the Pilates breath is really going to help with our running as well. A nice, efficient breath, taking in as much as we can in one go. These last few, start to use your core. So reach up, gently pull in those lower abdominals. Keep hold of them as you open out. And again, last time, big breath in. Reach, gently connect those lower abs. So if it's a 10-notch belt, you're looking to pull in just to the third notch. Keeping that hold, opening the arms out. From there, taking the arms out and just scissoring them in front. Alternating which arm goes on top. Keeping the spine nice and tall and taking the arms slightly behind the body so we stretch and open the chest. And again, that's gonna help when we're running because we don't wanna be rounded and forward. We wanna be open and nice and tall. So think, lift the crown of the head, open out the chest. We've got four and three and two, last ones to each side. Good, come down, make sure the feet are facing forwards now. And we're gonna drop down into one knee, keeping the trailing leg straight so we get that lovely stretch on the inner thigh. Coming back up, same on the other side, sink low into that stretch and then come back up. So the weight goes back into the heels, the chest stays lifted and open. So we're not hunching to get closer to the floor. It's a bend in the knee that takes us down and then back up. Keeping, like I say, that gentle connection on the lower abs. Go down and come back up. Good. Drive off that standing leg as you come back up. So we come down, feel the stretch. Drive back up there. Down, drive back up. Good. A couple more. So we're not just getting the stretch now, we're starting to work into the standing leg, warming up the hip. Good, this time we're gonna come down, we're gonna take the weight out of that trailing leg and we're gonna lift and lower. So we're starting to work on our balance, we're starting to engage through the hip and down the side of the leg. Chest stays open, lower abs stay engaged. So we've got a hinge from the hip, but we're still nice and open in the chest. Good for 10, nine, eight. Keep the pelvis is really still so we're not rocking around. Four, three, two, and one. Same on the other side, come up. Make sure the feet are still facing forwards. Drop into that knee, taking the weight out of the foot. Lift and lower. Remember nice and still through the body, pelvis still. Chest open, lower abs pulling in. Lift and lower. Good for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Pull those lower abs in, open the chest. Three, two, and one. Good, come back up. Sweep the leg round so we're back onto the first leg we were using or standing on. From here, we're gonna drop back. So we're taking this leg back, staying with the weight through the front heel, and then tap it in. Come back, tap it in. So drive down through that front heel, pull yourself back up, rather than pushing off this back leg. Drive down the standing heel, that's gonna get your glutes engaged. When you're ready, we're going to start to bring the knee up in front. 
So if you drop down, pull yourself forward with that leg, driving down through the heel. Good, we've got five more. Five, and four, and three, two, and one. Same on the other side, so shift the weight. Think tall through the spine, lower abs engaged. Keeping the weight through that front heel. Remember, drive down through that front heel. Pull yourself back rather than pushing off the back leg. When you're ready, start to add that knee lift. Coming up. Bring up nice and high as we start to work into those hip flexors at the front. Good, remember chest open, lower abs engaged. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, driving that front heel, and one. Good, come back. Coming back to the first leg we were balancing on, we're gonna pull the other knee up in front and then take it round and behind. Bring it up in front and then round and behind. So as you bring it in front, keep tall through the spine, hold your balance, squeeze the bottom, push the hips forward. So we stretch the back of the hip and then the front of the hip. Back of the hip, front of the hip. Like I say, lift through the chest. So all the time we're stretching the hip, we're also working on that form that we want when we're running. Open chest, tall spine. Squeeze the bottom, open out the front. Last two, lift. Last ones. Now take that same leg, stick it on your thigh on the other side, squatting back down. Good, so as you come down, again, the chest stays up. We're lifting the tailbone ever so slightly on the end point so you get that real stretch into the hip, and then back up. Down. Lower abs stay engaged, chest stays open again. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come up. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So standing tall, lower abs pulling in, so we don't sink into that hip. We want everything nice and strong from the head all the way down to the feet. Pull it in, take it around and behind, squeeze the bottom, push the hips forward. Hug it in. Squeeze the hips forward. So even when we're stretching, we're also working the rest of the body, the core, the glutes through the um, standing leg, and the hip stabilizers. Squeeze and open. It's a combination of strength and mobility. Good, we've got two more after this. Remember, core engage, chest up. Last ones. Good, take that foot onto the thigh on the other side. Remember, come down, lift the tailbone, stretch, and release. And again, still getting the strength work on that balancing side. Stretch in the hip on the um, other side. So chest up, lower abs in. Five more from here. So five and four, three, two, last ones. Good, bring it down, shake it out. Last stretch, reaching up tall on the in-breath. At the top, just squeeze your bottom and arch back. So opening the chest as much as you can. Come back up tall, 
arms opening wide. And like I say, think tall through your spine when you run, as if you've got that piece of string pulling you up and you're staying as light as you can then through your feet. Have a great run.